Hello guys, once again welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Let's join pharmacy. Today let's discuss about the very important questions and with answer trick. How can you write the answers in pharmaceutics one? Very important video, very informative video. So if you watch this video and you listen this video, so please try to share this video so that other students also can take this opportunity. Because I have observed every YouTube channel maximum. Okay. in that this type of authentic information particularly on the subjects and on the answers how to write that all no one is giving so my intention is to just you have to write the exam and you have to pass the examination that's our main intention yeah first question in 10 mark in pharmaceutics sir and if you want the notes in the description there is a my whatsapp number there you can ask me per subject 29 rupees only 20 29 i'm not costing 1000 or 100 rupees per subject to 29 rupees if you want 29 it's a very uh, less amount so that you can pay and get it very important notes are now just now you follow many exams many questions alhamdulillah what questions was uh, guessed by me in the exam the same questions has arisen define emul- emulsions what are the various instabilities of emulsions discuss them with their causes and precautions see a first you have to define the emulsions with example you have to write the types then instabilities causes precautions are very important okay, then uh, identification test fluorescent test dye test these all test also you have to write in 10 mark then define prescription with the help of ideal example describe the importance of all parts of prescription first to define what is this prescription go for example for the prescription and imp- importance of all the p- p- parts first to write those parts then explain one by one Uh, example is very important here you have to draw one prescription diagram getting then define suppository explain preparation of coca butter suppository see anything if they ask suppository emulsion suspension anything try to write the definition advantages and disadvantages here also same define uh, suppository types you have to write preparation any one preparation advantages then uh, particular they ask coca butter you read only coca butter only advantages disadvantages use some examples of a suppository in market like dalcoflex jerbisa paracetamol suppository is example define and classify incompatibility physical incompatibility you have to write here but see you have to define this what is this incompatibility classification examples you have to know all the three physical chemical therapeutic incompatibility these all you have to remember because from these three incompatibilities one will be fixed in our examination yeah next the posology explain the factors affecting selection of dose define fa- posology you have to write the factors the child dosage formula two formulas are enough here and advantages also you have to write okay then five marks now let's jump towards the five marks question 10 marks these are enough you practice these only from these only they will ask or maybe they can ask from 10 marks into five mark and from five mark they will select to the 10 mark so be ready in any way if they ask in 10 mark or five mark try to write what i told no you keep in mind these all things they will help you a lot write the principle and dispensing involved in the preparation of the efferocent powder define powder efferocent powder advantages disadvantages and preparation you have to write <coughs> are you clear yeah then define and classify suspension define example classification advantages and types of the suspensions means two types one flocculated and deflocculated sometimes they will ask separately write the flocculated and deflocculated suspension in the way that way also you have to write the same write the suspension definition explain flocculated and deflocculated simple explain the various evaluation test for suppositories define advantages disadvantages evaluation test for suppositories then differentiate between lotions and liniments see don't make columns here okay in your mind there is a hsc or a sslc what you are doing no you are making two columns difference between lotions and liniments no not here the same what you do in hsc here it's totally different first you write about lotions what are those advantages disadvantages and all you write one formulation you write then you go for liniment this pattern you have to follow for difference then pharmacopia remember indian pharmacopia okay if they ask whatever try to write this indian pharmacopia at least you will get to 2 to 3 marks differentiate between syrups and elixir this is also very important evaluation of a semi solid dose dosage form advantages disadvantages you have to write here and evaluation techniques also you have to remember this all then how many parts of 20% and 60% alcohol to be mixed to get 500 ml of 40% alcohol 
allegation method sum see allegation method sum when is fixed here you practice this sum you will get 5 mark allegation method then note on liquid dosage form advantages disadvantages and one preparation either you can write elixir or syrup these are all liquid dosage form only anyone you can write then difference between flocculated and deflocculated suspension i have told you that see sometimes what they will do they will ask you define suspension and write the types sometimes they will ask in the manner like define flocculated and deflocculated for both same you have to explain flocculated and deflocculated difference you have to write and uh, define dosage form and classify with example define classification or dosage form okay dosage form means liquid dosage form solid dosage form semi solid dosage form these three you write you explain any one in detail you can take liquid dosage form and explain with the example some of the coloring agents excipients this all last question creams formulation of creams advantages disadvantages formulation these 13 questions in 5 marks you remember definitely these questions will be asked in our examination of the pharmaceutics okay so practice these questions so thank you subscribe to our channel let's jump pharmacy and try to share this video okay thank you